Barry, let's then move on to talk about one of your other favorite things, robotics and uh, robotic dogs. Yeah, so this one is hard to talk about without seeing the video. So I'm going to put a video link in the description. Please go and check it out. It is crazy to see. Uh, if, you, if you've ever watched Black Mirror, you might remember the one episode with this robot dog that was chasing this woman for basically the whole episode trying to kill her. It was really a terrible episode. But it was an example of like a, a highly advanced robotic animal that was able to do crazy amounts of things, right? So be able to go across all sorts of textures, all sorts of heights and go up and down and jump into all sorts of things. And Boston Dynamics has recently made their dog robot, which they call Spot, available to be bought. So previously they were just a research organization over the last couple, kind of couple of years. I've been following their developments and watching as the robot got better and better and better and scarily so. Like if you look at this video, it's kind of sci-fi-ish. It's, it's really strange. And now it's finally available to be bought by organizations. So Chad, in case you wanted to go and buy one, it's going to cost you around <laughs> $90,000 if you want all yeah. the bells and whistles, if you want the LiDAR and the extra batteries and all that stuff. So it's, it's relatively expensive at this point. Um, but the fact that it's becoming commercial available is quite interesting for the world of robotics. Uh, we've seen it used for lots of construction projects uh, when they're trying to reduce risk of getting things into difficult areas. We've seen it in warehouses, we've seen it picking up things, like lots of interesting uh, use cases. And uh, I think this is the first of many from Boston Dynamics as they start to get these things into commercially available products. From just a few years ago where they were just testing out random prototypes and you just watch the, all the fails and the bloopers and all that good stuff, they're selling something now that is actually ready to go is, is relatively terrifying when you think about yeah. the robotics and what it's going to do for automation going forward. So yeah, I would encourage you to go and see the video, uh, Spot the, the Robot from Boston Dynamics. Uh, it'll blow your mind. Yeah, this is the same, I believe, the same robot that we spoke about who was monitoring law enforcement in terms of social distancing in Singapore. And I also, it's came across my feed this week uh, that I saw it was available for sale. Obviously, that price tag is pretty heavy. <laughs> and also, I'm not sure what I would do with a robotic dog. But it's, it is just insane, the fact that you can actually buy these things. And uh, I guess the, the question here is, what can it do? What can't it do? Does Are there some sort of limits, moral limits that have been placed on it? Barry, do you know? It depends what you mean by moral limits. Um, of course, we have to remember it's not like full AI just yet. It, it's more like right. a utility kind of robot to really do pre-programmed stuff. It's not autonomous in the way that the Black Mirror one is just yet, but you can imagine it getting there. And it's one of those things where it's used for very specific use cases. Like you say, Chad, I don't think individuals are going to be going out and buying this thing. It's going to be large organizations who have very specific needs in construction or warehousing or these sorts of things. Um, also, what's quite interesting is, is to thinking about its, its future in space travel. Um, at the moment, we've got the Mars rover running around on Mars, collecting all sorts of things, and that's an autonomous robot that's doing yeah. all sorts of things. But that's reliant on wheels, and it's a little bit clunky, and it's still quite old because it was launched a couple of years ago. I can imagine SpaceX on their next journey, wherever they're going to be going, chucking a bunch of those robots on and letting them loose and going to collect whatever scientific data they can. Mm -hmm. So I think there's lots of interesting use cases, but it's going to be at a much higher end. And uh, we mustn't kid ourselves and think that these things are autonomous or moral or any of that stuff yet. That is still to come. Absolutely. Well, thanks for educating me there, Barry. Uh, I had no idea. Oh.